water, the most basic necessity for life. 20 plus years into a mega drought, the seven state area that depends on the Colorado River is facing an uncertain future. It doesn't produce as much water as it did 100 years ago when some of the original um, uh, law of the river was created. John Kamik is the head of Tucson Water. Unlike other cities in the desert southwest, Tucson is actually in a position of strength right now. Having banked an incredible five and a half years worth of reserve drinking water from the Colorado River. So this is what is called an aquifer recharge basin. Tucson has been taking their leftover allotment from the Colorado River and sinking it back into the ground for the last 22 years. Aquifer banking has been a has been a big deal for us in Tucson and uh, and globally. So we're not unique, uh, but the fact that the size that Tucson does it is one of the larger ones in the country. The process is simple. As the water trickles through the layers of sand and rock, it becomes filtered on its way to the underground aquifer, where it is stored for future use. Sharon Megdell is a water policy expert at the University of Arizona. She says Tucson had the foresight to start banking water after a water scare in the early 90s. Tucson water leaders like to say, and I think they're, they're uh, right in saying, we probably have one of the most secure systems you know, for delivering water because not only do they have that five and a half years, but they also have all that pumping capacity in place. The other part of the equation is using the same process to recycle water, first filtering and purifying it before it eventually becomes non-potable water used for irrigation, or in this case, a beautiful urban wildlife habitat, the Sweetwater Wetlands. This is what's so important to be able to recharge every single drop, right? This is a way to use the earth as a bank account for water management using that water that you have, that you paid for, that you use in the community once, where well, you bring it back here, you put it into these basins, you put it back into the aquifer. Size, scope, and early adoption make this southwestern town a water management leader. In fact, delegates from water-stressed countries as far away as Israel, Australia, and South Africa have come here to learn more.